Hello everyone, Amanda here. I just got a really quick tip for you for journaling. So I like to use hole reinforcers on my tags if I'm not using metal eyelets. It's a cheaper way of doing it, it looks really nice and uh, yeah, it, they're, they're effective. So I'm running short of them so I was like, mm, how can I make some? So here we go, I'm going to show you. You may well have already worked this out for yourselves but sometimes you have a bit of a moment where you think oh why didn't I think of that so I thought I'd share with you so I've got some craft card here um, you can use any colour or you could even use paper that coordinates with what you're making um, I just happen to be using craft today and if you've got a cropper dial okay so the largest hole on a cropper dial is 3 16th of an inch all right, it's, you know, if you don't have one of these, you might have a singular hole punch or an office hole punch. So what you want to do is punch some holes. Now make sure you leave space, top, bottom and side to side. Plenty of space because we're going to make another hole in a minute. And you can do a few in a row, just make sure you space them out. Okay, nicely. And then I have a half an inch circle punch. This is a Stampin' Up! one, I think it's retired. But if you look on Amazon and just type in half inch circle punch, loads will come up. Or have a look on eBay and get one of these second hand, uh, the Stampin' Up! ones. They're not the cheapest on the market, but in my opinion they are the best. But you know, anything will do. And then you punch the larger circle after, so do your smaller circle first. The reason being, if you punch a circle first and then trying to centralise a hole in the middle of there, you know, you can do it, but are you going to get it, are you going to get it right? It's easier to centralise it in the middle of your hole, of your circle punch like so. Yeah, you, you're still doing it by eye, but you're going to get a better accuracy, okay? Punch them out. <laughs> All right, and then to make them stand out a little bit more, you can go in with a darker distress ink. Here I'm using Walnut Stain, and you might think, oh, who can be bothered doing that? But it is tiny details like this that um, can just make a project just that little bit more special, and the devil is in the detail, as they say. Don't forget, you need two per tag or... What have you used in the mom? Okay, super simple. Then get a fine tipped glue bottle if you can, because this is going to help you be more accurate with your glue and also you're going to use less. So, this is an old, um, glue, different brand of glue that has got a fine tip nib there. I've emptied it and put my glue in that I like to use. Okay. And then grab your tag that you're going to put it on, okay, and put one on the front and one on the back. And there you go, there's a quick tip for you. Hope that helps. Take care, bye for now.